I'm Dr. Elena and welcome to the Tooth Fairy channel from Mompedia. Today's topic is, I have a thumb sucker, now what? Well, infant sucking is a natural reflex that is harmless and in fact essential to life, enabling an infant to take in nourishment and develop facial and tongue muscles. Babies often use their thumbs to calm themselves and satisfy their sucking instinct. Toddlers suck their thumbs because it's comforting and calming. A child can also turn to thumb sucking when she's tired, scared, bored, or trying to adjust to challenges such as starting daycare or preschool. She may also use her thumb to help her fall asleep at bedtime and to lull herself back to sleep when she wakes up in the middle of the night. If your child is between one and three years old, don't worry too much. Thumb sucking may still be a psychological need to comfort and soothe the child, especially while she's teething and adjusting to changes in her life. At this age, thumb sucking won't cause any permanent damage to the teeth or jaws. The key is to notice when and where sucking occurs and try to divert her attention by offering an alternative. If it's when she's hungry, give her a snack. If it's when she's tired, put her down for a nap. If it's when she's watching television, distract her with the substitute activities such as finger puppets to play with, or you can even cuddle with her and hold her hand. If she turns to the thumb when she's frustrated, help her put her feelings into words by talking to her. Most children stop thumb sucking on their own between the ages of two and four. Past the age of five, however, the gain from sucking are beginning to wane and the costs are beginning to emerge. Here are some warning signs that a sucking habit needs to be discontinued. Do the teeth protrude or twist? Or the lips seem flared and molded around the digit? Is your child developing callus or infection on her sucking thumb or finger? Is her thumb or finger growing normally or does it appear twisted or different from the same finger on the other hand? Observe your child's technique. If she sucked vigorously, you may want to begin curbing her habit around the age of three or four. Thumb sucking is a difficult habit to break and requires a lot of patience from the parent. Usually you need a child to be able to understand why the habit needs to stop in order for her to cooperate and then break the habit on her own. Punishing a child is usually not effective in stopping a thumb-sucking habit. Reprimanding a child may, in fact, cause more stress and push them to suck their thumb even more. If you notice any changes in your child's mouth or teeth, or if you're unsure whether your child's thumb-sucking is causing problems, consult with your dentist. We can think about putting in an appliance or discuss other options. Working together, we can find solutions that will eventually help her kick the thumb habit. I'm Dr. Elena, and I'll see you next time on the Tooth Fairy Channel.